Hello, I'm your host Blair as I take you to an adventure around Philippines. Around Philippines. Let's start here at the heart of the Philippines, the city of love, the noble city, the Queen's City, Ilo Ilo. And before we proceed, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell and let's proceed to our adventure and did you know Ilo Ilo was found in 1566 and did you know that the old cathedral of Ilo Ilo is located in Oton and it was built in 1891 and it was destroyed by an earthquake, Lady Kai Kai as they call it, on the 24th of January 1948. And Iloilo Ilo was found in 1566 during the Spanish colonial era. This was the second Spanish settlement and as the political capital, this was few months after Miguel Lopez de Legazpi established the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines in Cebu. Yes, you heard it. Iloilo was the former capital of the Philippines during the Spanish colonial in 1566. And during the American occupation in 1896, after fall of Manila, the governor, General Diego de los Rios, tried to revive the colonial government in Iloilo from November 17, 1896 until March 1939 based on the Wikipedia capital of the Philippines. During the late 18th century, the development of the large-scale weaving industry started the movement of Iloilo's surge in trade and industry. Some refer as the textile capital of the Philippines. The product was exported to Manila and other regional and foreign places. Sinamay, Piña, Juice are examples of the product produced by the looms of Iloilo. The textile industry was replaced when Iloilo Seaport opened to the world market, somewhat triggered the economic boom of sugar industry in Iloilo and its neighboring island of Negros. The sugar industry during the 19th century was high in demand. On October 5, 1889, during the economic development, the Queen Regent of Spain raised the status of the town into a royal city or the Queen's City of the South. In 1890, the city government was established. In 1896, the initial reaction of the Ilongos in the outbreak of the revolution in Manila was hesitant. However, the capital city of Iloilo was the first to offer assistance to the Philippine independence because of its Queen City Regent Maria Cristina honored the city in the name of her son, King Alfonso III, with the title La Moy Nobel in appreciation of the most noble virtue of Ilongo's chivalry. Due to the Spanish blow-by-blow -blow defeat by at first the Katipunan and later by the Americans, the Spanish left Manila and established the last capital in the Orient in Iloilo. However, through the leadership of General Martin Delgado, the town of Iloilo got involved in the struggle for independence, except Iloilo, Molo, and Haro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and share this video to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of these videos.
until then, thank you for watching. This is Blair, Around Philippines.